Welcome to my channel. I got a request from Kelly ZB to react to NF. I've never even heard of NF, but that's what I'm going to do today. Before I do that, I have to thank each and every one of you for coming to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for commenting on them. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you especially for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm blown away by the number of people that have subscribed to my channel and by the wonderful comments that you've been making about my reaction videos. I thank you so much. So without further ado, let's find out about NF. Kind of an interesting name, I think. Turn the volume up so I can hear. Oh, yeah, I'm on my way, I'm coming. Don't, don't lose faith in me. I know you've been waiting. I know you've been praying for my soul. Oh. Thirty years you've been dragging your feet, telling me I'm the reason we're stagnant. Thirty years you've been claiming your honesty and promising progress. Well, where is it that I don't want you to feel like a failure? I know this hurts, but I gave you your chance to deliver. Now it's my turn. Don't get me wrong Nature had the great one But it's time to Give the people something different So without further ado I Like to introduce my My album 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 Hope What's my definition of success? Listening to what your heart says Standing up for what you know is Right while everybody else is Tucking their toe between their legs What's my definition of success? Creating something no one else can Being brave enough to dream big Grinding when you're told to just quit Giving more when you got nothing left It's a person that'll take a chance on Something they were told could never happen It's a person that can see the bright side Through the dark times when there ain't one Walk away from more perfect Cause they'd rather do something That they really love And take the pay cut It's a person that would never waver Or change who they are Just to try and gain some credibility So they can feel accepted by a stranger it's Hmm well, That's an interesting message <clears throat> Uh He's talking about going on his own path and doing his own thing and believing in himself and not worrying about what other people say and pushing through the failures in life. That's something that every person needs to learn. Otherwise, they'll never be successful because you have to have failure to be successful. And this line right here that you can see on the screen, it's a person that can take the failures in their life and turn them into motivation. That's such an important thing. If you allow your failures to defeat you, then there will never be motivation and you'll never be successful. And if you think that you can be successful without failures, you're kidding yourself. You're fooling yourself because that's not possible. You're a human being, so you're not perfect and you're going to make mistakes. And mistakes can sometimes hurt you badly. So, you have to look at the failures and ask yourself, what can I learn from this to get better? I like the message. I'm a little confused on, the, on what genre this is. I guess it's rap. Uh, 
The reason I chose this particular song is because it has the most hits, most views on his channel. So I figured, okay, this has to be his best. At least it's what the people that watch him think is his best because it has the most views. So let's keep watching. In their life and turn them into motivation. It's believing in yourself when no one else does. It's amazing what a little bit of faith can't do if you don't even believe in you. Why would you think or expect anybody else that's around you? Who? Boy, is that the truth? Yeah. If you don't even believe in yourself, then why would you expect anyone else to believe in you? And you know, it's funny how in life, so many people are so concerned about what other people think and not about what they think about themselves. And that's a huge problem because there, there are very few people in the world that you can satisfy completely. You can't even satisfy yourself completely. But at least you can get to a point in your life where you're, where you're satisfied with the results. But there'll always be critics. There'll always be people that tell you what's wrong with you, that point out your faults and your failures, that, that try to, you know, it's like Job's miserable comforters in the Old Testament. They, they gave him all the reason in the world why he should quit, why he should give up on God. But he didn't, and he ended up prospering greatly because he didn't. Hmm. That is such a truism. Too. I didn't did things that I regret. I didn't said things I can't take back. Was a lost soul at a crossroad who had no hope, but I changed that. I spent years of my life holding on to things I never should have kept full of hatred. Years of my life carrying a lot of baggage that I should have walked away from. Years of my life wishing I was someone different, looking for some validation. Years of my life trying to fill a void, pretending I was in They get it. The visuals in this video are interesting too, starting out, stranded out in the ocean, and then he talks about how he's tried to make something work for 30 years and it hasn't, and so now he's gonna go his own way, and suddenly he's on the shore. We don't know how he got there, but it, it indicates a change from something that was to something that will be. And he talks about how he began to believe in himself and not be concerned about what other people thought about him. And that is so important. You, you have to, you can never be successful in life unless you believe in yourself. You just can't. It's not even possible. Because if you don't believe in yourself, you, you listen to other people, and when you listen to other people, they're always going to tell you what's wrong with you. They're not, you know, not every person in every circumstance, but overall in life, people are going to tell you what's wrong with you. So many people want to, quote, quote, elevate themselves by denigrating others. They uh, somehow they think it makes them bigger if they make other people smaller. It's it's silly because it, it can't possibly work. You can't make someone else smaller, and you can't make yourself bigger by making someone else smaller. You just make yourself smaller. But there's so many people that do that in life that that point fingers and blame people and criticize people and say he should have done this or he should have done that. You know it's. That's humanity, I guess.
Okay, so he's he went from being trapped on the ocean on a raft to arriving on the shore and starting a new beginning. And now he's in this giant hall where he's unfamiliar with the surroundings and he's trying to make sense of everything. It's like he's, what's it called? The chrysalis? Where the, the uh, worm becomes the butterfly? I think that's the process he's trying to communicate here. Evil, difficult to go through, yes, but beneficial. Some would say having a mental breakdown is a negative thing, which on one hand I agree, but on the other hand, it was the push I needed to get help and start the healing process. See, if I'd never hit my bottom, would I be the person that I am today? I don't believe so. I'm a burning example of what happens when you choose to not accept defeat and face your demons. Took me 30 years to realize that if you want to get the opportunity to be the greatest version of yourself, sometimes you gotta be someone you're not to hear the voice of reason. Having kids will make you really take a step back and look in the mirror, at least for me, that's what it did. I Every day and pick my son up, hold him in my arms and let him know he's loved. Love. Standing by the window questioning if that is ever going to show up. Up Isn't something he's gonna have to worry about, don't get it twisted, that was in the shop. Mama, I forgive you, I just don't want him to grow up thinking that he'll never be enough. 30 years of running, 30 years of searching, 30 years of hurting, 30 years of pain. 30 years of fearful, 30 years of anger, 30 years of empty, 30 years of shame. 30 years of broken, 30 years of anguish, 30 years of hopeless, 30 years of hate. 30 years of never, 30 years of maybe, 30 years of later, 30 years of faith. 30 years of hollow, 30 years of sorrow, 30 years of darkest 30 years of 30 years of baggage 30 years of sadness 30 years of stagnant 30 years of change 30 years of patience 30 years of suffering 30 years of torment 30 years of 30 years of bitter 30 years of lonely 30 years of pushing everyone away you'll never revolve i know i can change we are not enough we are not the same you don't have the heart you don't have the strength you don't have the courage you don't have the will you don't have the faith 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 you know, the positive side of yourself and the negative side of yourself. It's it's the battle between good and evil because you're, you're, the evil side of you is always trying to tell you you're not good enough, you can't do it, there's no way you can succeed, you're just a failure, you might as well give up, blah, 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 it goes on and on and on. And then the, the other side of it is... I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to be a failure. I am going to succeed. And that battle goes on inside of every human being. It goes on inside of every business. It's the universal battle that we all fight to try and become successful at what we want to be. And for every one of us, it's different. You know, <clears throat> years ago, I realized that there are people that make money selling manure. And for me, that was like a great revelation because I went, well, you know, if you can make money selling manure, you can make money doing anything. I mean, come on. If you can sell manure, what can you not sell? So it made me realize that, that the possibilities were limitless and that they were only limited by my own imagination, my own willingness to go get what it was I wanted. And I think that's basically the message that he's portraying here is the limitations are all internal. They may appear to be external. You may think that they're coming from other people, but really it's in your own head. <laughs> An interesting, very interesting song. Not running away! You don't have to you're the one afraid. I'm the one in charge. I'm taking the. I'm taking the. Rains. Huh. Well. That was interesting. Uh, I don't know. I might listen to some more of his music. Um, see what what other themes he he discusses or or uh, raps about. So 
Uh, Kelly ZP, thank you for, is it Z, ZB, sorry. Kelly ZB, thank you for the request and for introducing me to a new artist. I'll have to subscribe to his channel and see what he's got. I hope this has been interesting for my viewers. I know it's not what you're used to seeing, Ren and Dax and Tom McDonald, but if you're going to hang out with me, you're going to get exposed to stuff you may not have thought you'd get exposed to. Because <laughs> that's, that's who I am. So, as always, I pray that you, my viewers, will live abundant lives, that you'll be prosperous beyond your wildest imagination, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long life, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out. <laughs>